It is Saturday night, you and the boys are playing Counter-Strike on Dust2 and you decide to test your luck, approaching A via Long. A decent plan, until you come around the corner and realize the CTs have wheeled out the frickin' Maxim gun. Counter-Strike Counter used to have heavy machine guns. Yes, a 50 cal. It just didn't look that good. And with that, welcome to a new episode of the cut content of Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike's selection of machine guns is fairly limited, and so is their practicality in regular matches. I'm still waiting for the M249 to become top dog in the next major. M249 and Negev are rarely seen in active use by players. Nonetheless, they do have an established place in the game, particularly in custom game modes. The M249 is the longest-serving LMG in Counter-Strike, with its smaller brother, the Negev, joining in 2012 with the release of CSGO. Several years ago, in episode 18 of the cut content of Counter-Strike, we covered a, a little bit heavier machine gun meant to be introduced, the M60. The remains of which can still be played in the single-player spin of Counter-Strike Condition Zero deleted scenes. But I promised you heavier machine guns, and for that we have to go all the way back to the early days of Counter-Strike, to a time when crazy experiments were a lot more common. Counter-Strike used to borrow a lot more from Half-Life, therefore it isn't surprising that Half-Life's 50 cal did make it into early Counter-Strike maps. Not only as decoration, but as usable guns. These heavy machine guns were fixed emplacements and could be used by anyone. Just walk up to them, press E, and presto, you can control the heavy machine gun. It provides sustained fire, it doesn't have to be reloaded, and aiming is a bit difficult, but it has tremendous power and on some maps it was even able to gib enemies, something that has been long gone from Counter-Strike, but yeah, in the early days you could rip people into bits, just like in Half-Life. On official maps, the M2 Browning machine gun never made it out of the beta phase. Heavy machine guns can be found on Prison, Hideout, Iraq and Forest. On Prison and Iraq, those are Half-Life style M2s. The machine guns on AS Forest covering the extraction zone are unidentifiable. And on Hideout and Desert, we have something very special. The usable gun emplacements there feature a British Vickers machine gun. A big tripod-mounted water-cooled machine gun a British version of the famous Maxim gun. So technically, yeah, the Vickers machine gun is cut content of Counter-Strike. <laughs> How's that for Counter-Strike trivia night? Even if the guns may do look different, functionally they are all the same turret entity from Half-Life. Even the ones on custom maps that feature lasers, like this one on D. Hoth. Yes, a Star Wars themed custom map with usable ATST guns. Man, Counter-Strike maps used to be crazy creative, and now it feels like half of the workshop is just aim maps. Nowadays, heavy machine guns are merely map decoration, unless you wander off the beaten path of CSGO or soon Counter-Strike 2 and wander into the dark realms of Counter-Strike Nexon Zombies or today Nexon Studio, well then, there you will find probably M2 machine gun, heavier machine guns, airstrikes and whatever you can imagine. It is a dark and strange place over there, let's not discuss this further. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this look into the heavy machine guns that used to be a part of Counter-Strike. If you would like to know more about the M60 machine gun, check the link in the upper right corner or in the end card of this video. If you enjoyed this video, I would be grateful if you give it a like, subscribe for future content and maybe even support us on Patreon, as our supporters there got to see this video well before anyone else. Our wonderful supporters are Lone Wolf, Zed Gladys, Wrapped in Glass, Cookie, Theto, Revolve 556, Plasma, Tome, Rainbow Flash, Grizzly Bear, Strange Module, Cop Fighter, Inter, Charles Serret, Sir K, Ram Gilama, Whiskey, Christoph, MTD, Hub, Leggy Boy, Daniel, Freylem, Crony XS, Veo Vio, Imentrix, Amon, Ozzy Loco, Rolling Rock, Sidonai, Bobcat Racer, and Taco D Boss. A heartfelt thank you for your support. To them and everyone else, thanks for watching. So, see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day and as always, goodbye and guten tag.